What's the went through school just to realize you couldn't stand the sight of blood of your job field? Well, I'm a full bottomist, so. Never had anyone who ended up not being able to stand the sight of blood, but have had several people who couldn't do other specimens collected or received in a lab, urine, stool, sputum, etc. Also people who were surprised that most of our drawers would be kids, the elderly, chemo and dialysis patients, all notoriously difficult drawers, and thought everything would be exactly like it was in school. I've heard new people in the hospital when I was there tell me they won't attend the code blues because they can't see anyone die. Like, it's a hospital. People are in bad shape and die in it. Went through nursing school, only to figure out I can't stand vomit. Just vomit though. I can stand blood, feces, urine, biliary drainage, pulmonary secretions, etc. There's just something about vomit. Got a prestigious degree in finance and economics, realized I sincerely hate the type of people who work in ab finance. I teach English to kids aged 3 9 in China. I can't tell you how many people I've met while teaching abroad that either can't stand kids and or constantly complain about how the country is so different from their own considering being able to handle children and adapt to new surroundings are two of the biggest requirement to do the job. There's quite a few pilots that are scared of heights. Had a teacher in my nautical academy that found out he was chronically seasick. I work in a pathology, bacteriology lab, so basically if you're at all squeamish, you've got no chance. I took swabs from a chunk of necrotic tissue on my second day, and I'll never look at fried mushrooms the same way again. Many people become a lawyer only to discover they hate practicing law, because they didn't really understand what that meant when they went to law school. Law is very boring, involves a lot of minute, rote work which has little practical effect on a case, and is ultimately soul-sucking. Being a lawyer involves very little grandstanding in courtroom. Many lawyers never do that. Even trial lawyers, like you see on TV, only get a couple trials a year at best and some go years between trials. The only kinds of lawyers in court every day are criminal attorneys. My brother-in-law went through seminary and got a job as a youth pastor, only to find he absolutely could not speak in public. He does construction now. Sound engineer. I am sensitive to loud noises. Should have thought that one through. Went to school for firefighting, had a classmate drop out because he was afraid of heights. Got a master's in psychology. Don't like people. What a bunch of bastards. Started my own freelance business then realized I hate people, I hate kissing ass and I hate stressing about clients paying on time. I went to massage school with a girl who realized she didn't he want to touch people for a living. Human resources. Went through school to realize I couldn't lay someone off. Honestly, terminations for cause are pretty bad, but at least they did something to cause it. I'm talking about downsizing. Bartending. Going through years and years of being hazed by co-workers and regulars, constantly being given the shittiest jobs sometimes literally in the entire bar, all the back pain from stocking heavy ass shit, being the last one to leave almost every night. All that just to find out you don't like dealing with people at all especially when they read drunk that or you re-sober which I've seen a couple times and just seems awful. Spent a lot of time honing my voice and manner skills because I seemed to have a talent for customer service. The only problem is I figured out that I hate people in general. Going to school for vet nursing or veterinary and then realizing you are scared of certain animals like mice or rats. Being a mover, we would frequently go through new hires that can't hang. You would laugh at how many times we've walked into a house and the new guy goes we have to move all of this. And I go yay, twice. Or when a customer asks to move one thing again because they found a new spot, or there is a couch at the new place to move dot 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 I see people just get disheartened and annoyed. Bitch, that's our job, 
you are here to move people's things until they do not need you to move their things anymore. You are also getting paid by the hour, so stfu. Moving attracts some amazingly hard-working and kind people, and also bottom of the barrel digens. Every day is interesting lol. My friend applied to be in the RAF. Failed the medical because he is colorblind. This was the first he knew about it, he was 21. Friend went to become a vet tech before realizing she was allergic to cats, grew up with dogs only. Spend years learning about electricity and circuit design only to discover you are colorblind and can't determine which wire is which. I had nightmares in college about failing lab finals because I had been afflicted with spontaneous colorblindness. I was dead set on being a video game developer. Started in QA, saw the endless hours of crunch, the devs working 80 plus hour weeks without showers or shaving, smelled the funk of hundreds of unwashed bodies, the crossed fingers at reaching publisher milestones for bonuses that would hopefully make it all worthwhile, and the constant fear that they wouldn't get picked up for the next project so they could keep getting paid and keep making mortgage payments. Decided that I'd rather be in systems in lieu of development and never looked back. Major in journalism. I'm antisocial and I live under a rock. Going to film school then working on a real set. Learning the hierarchy and the unions, many moving pieces, and politics really makes you start to hate the industry and really turns you off. Ask a person in film and TV production how long have you been working in the industry? Most people's response? Too long. Has anyone said chef afraid of knives? Chef afraid of knives here. I got a job only to realize that I can tea stand getting out of bed every morning. Went through a rather longer apprenticeship learning how to cut meat just to figure out I couldn't tea stand the cold of the cutting room. Toughed it out long enough to get promoted to manager so I didn't tea have to be in it if I didn't tea want to be. I own an in-home childcare. I hate germs, boogers, poop and messes. I hate germs, boogers, poop and messes. Does anyone not hate these? I work in an art museum I love art, love all of the community outreach the museum does, all the programs for kids slash veterans slash cancer patients to have a creative outlet. But I hate talking art. It is so bullshitty. Not every person that has an exhibit is going to be a genius, sometimes, rarely, but it does happen, the artist is a true hack, whose work required little to no creative thought, dedication of time, or new ideas. And you look like an asshole if a patron asks what you think of the art and you don't shit your pants over it. You re-expect it to go to every gallery opening, which is basically every night, even though everyone forgets what was even on display two weeks later. But the amount of times I've heard, you haven't gone to the bone farm? You haven't seen Jojo's installation of cut-up pants? How many hipster galleries do I have to pretend to give a fuck about? Going through rigor school to safely secure loads to a crane only to refuse to work at heights. Before that, going all the way through basic and tech training, and the first year on your first duty station, just to break down into a sobbing wreck at the prospect of your first deployment ever. To the safest base in the region. Taking computer science classes so I could be a programmer. I never really had issues with dyslexia that much until I had to take college level math. After three years of repeated failing algebra, I was like this is just turning out to be a big waste of time and money. I had to give up on my dream job. Got a master's in engineering to realize I hate sitting at a desk all day. I'm in law school, and recently realized that I hate reading boring shit. It's going great. Worked at a company that did residential new construction vac install. One of our jobs is we would send a team in when the house was still in sticks and install the furnace and duct work. Most people that got hired by this company went through a program one way or another, for example, mine was a 9 month program and 10k tuition. Anyways, the point is no one in here would be here without some sort of schooling. This new guy wouldn't do anything. 
We told him to climb into the attic and help another guy run some 16 inches flex duct. He said he couldn't climb the ladder. We assured him he'll be fine, and even got him an eight ladder so he could literally step right off the top rung onto the trusses. Wouldn't go up it. Finally, we managed to coax him up the ladder after a good 10 minutes, and he spends the entire time wrapped around a truss upright like a cat stuck up a tree. We give up on him, the guy manages to run the duct himself, then we have to take 5 minutes to coax the guy back down the ladder. Now, we regularly have to place 20x20x36 sheet metal collection boxes, that weigh a reasonable amount, above 15 staircases, and this guy couldn't climb 8 into the air above a plyboard floor. Needless to say the guy didn't last long in that trade. <laughs> Teaching as a whole. The burnout is real, especially for high school, middle school. 150 plus students a day, lesson planning, 9 plus hour days, work at home, etc. A lot of people just stick with it 4 years due to teach grants or if they can make it the 10 years so that their loans are forgiven. The empathy fatigue and burnout is real. First year teacher, but I love it. I just see it everywhere.